Thanks, Carolyn. Michael Barbaro is with me now. Uh, Michael, when you were talking earlier, we were talking about sort of this speech reflecting this change in strategy from a fire Barack Obama to a hire me That's strategy. Right. Let's. How did that happen over the last six months, say? It, it certainly was something that evolved. You know, that notion, hire versus fire, it's the central tactical question of, of this campaign. campaign. Absolutely. And a decision was made many months back that the, that the Romney campaign was going to take the fire approach, fire Barack Obama. We're going to make... We're going to make a case that this is an irredeemable presidency. Right. He's failed on the economy. Failed on the economy. Doesn't understand the way the economy works. Doesn't, doesn't understand, understand business, us. Doesn't understand America. Doesn't That's right. Think. That's right. And that that was a that was a potentially wise and successful strategy. But something interesting and important happened. Number one, Barack Obama trained a ton of money in the other direction at at firing, in a sense, Mitt Romney, and, and making him look like someone who liked to fire other people. Making him look like like a <laughs> cold-blooded capitalist, right. um, unfeeling, all the rest. We sort of know that caricature. And to a degree that alarmed the Romney people, it was working. And they had their own financial problem. They were running up against a wall that primary candidates do. They right. can't reach they into can't the, big, the big pot of gold until, until, Tuesday night, until right. this convention started. Um, they had a real problem. They had to switch gears. They couldn't just try to fire Barack Obama. And you saw, interestingly, that lots of people around Mitt Romney, including, as I think we'll talk about in a minute, uh, his not yet running mate, Paul Ryan, they were all beginning to urge him to run a hire, not just a fire kind of campaign, to make a case for how he would govern if right. he got elected. And you started to hear it from actually a lot of Republicans who would speak in the media and say, mm -hmm. Mitt Romney's got to be offering something, a reason to buy into him. Because That's right. I think people, you know, the, the idea being that people make a decision just to fire their congressman or their senator, but there's something kind of more personal about the pick of a presidential candidate, right. and it's a kind of more gut thing. And that favorability rating has a different kind of power, personal favorability rating, for a presidential candidate than it maybe does for your, like, That's absolutely right. And which, what, what we thought would happen, what they thought would happen, was that Barack Obama's numbers would plunge, and his might stay just the same, which was fine. But what happened was Barack Obama's were staying the same, and, and their Romney's were, were beginning right. to fall. And that became... That became the push required to change this sort of strategy. And when he did start talking to Paul Ryan mm -hmm. about becoming his running mate, Paul Ryan was very much in favor of the, yes. we have to go out there with a plan, right? Now this may go down in history, Paul Ryan, as, as one of the most, uh, you know, kind of disciplined potential running mates who kind of turned that vetting process back on, on the on nominee head. himself and said, this is kind of what I'd like from you. One of the things he was pushing for was what he called an affirmative vision. You, know, you need to tell people how you're going to govern. And we began to see it almost immediately in the last few months, not just from Paul Ryan, of We've course. We've seen more detailed plans. There's, you know, yep. Even in this a speech tonight, plan. the five-point plan for here's how I'm going to create Suddenly, jobs. at the end of Mitt Romney's speeches, he, he began to attack on a five-point plan that was not there when we began covering him many months ago. Right. And so, you know, we've, it has forced certain specifics, mm -hmm. you know, and, and actually potentially takes away a certain argument from the Obama campaign, which is, you know, he's, that he wasn't offering. That, and that he stands for nothing, that he just wants to say what's wrong. Right. Yeah. And, and so he, and he is starting to outline a plan. I mean, it's not deeply detailed, uh, but it's a plan. And do we think he's going to be forced in the direction of both offering more plans and, and sort of embracing some of the Ryan plans yet more well, as time goes on? I think we saw in the last 10 days or so that he offered a pretty extraordinarily detailed plan for uh, energy harvesting, right. for using taking federal lands, letting states more or less lease do them, borrow drill, them, yeah. and do the kind of you know very intrusive drilling and exploration uh, that raises lots of controversial questions. Um, I think you're going to see more of that along the lines of you know health care, education, you know, maybe each week probably having a theme, and then that moving along towards a general election.